few things. Social media can work for you or social media can work against you. And it depends on how your business is and uh, how you want to do business and, and that sort of thing. And it really makes a difference in your result. Treat people poorly. People be on your social media and some of them, the sites, you will not be able to get them off. Treat people well. You need to publicize that and you need to use that on your social media from satisfied customers, service customers, testimonials. Um, that's really good. The big thing about social media is if you do get bad results, you need to respond to them and you need to really try. Sometimes it's minor. Sometimes it's not. If it's minor, you can do something. Sometimes it's, uh, it's unfortunate. You know, people buy a pre-owned car. We have severe weather. The car's already three years old. Um, they've had the car for a year. Their battery's done. You know, well, batteries only last like four years, five years. Uh, severe weather really hurts them. There's things that happen. There's nothing you can do about it. You need to, like, try to help them. And uh, helping people will go a long way for you on social media. So what can digital do for your social media? Everything is, is digital on social media. You need high quality photographs. You need video. Video really shines on social media, especially on Facebook, okay, YouTube, okay, and then you have Google+, LinkedIn now, and Instagram, okay. So all these things work together, and video makes the difference. You push your video, your how-to video, your helpful video, it goes to YouTube. You share it on Facebook, and you keep on getting views. It ties into your website. You put it on Google+, that ties into your website. Now Google, when you're on Google+, and YouTube, and Facebook, and you do video, it all indexes onto your website, okay? So that makes your website rank go up, and that's a good thing. So you're trying to do this, and this is how you're going to get things to change for you and how you're going to enhance your advertising. So now you have the blog, because blog social media, what do you do there? Well, a lot of it's written, and you can do, you do this, and you can recycle posts from Instagram or photos on your blog. You don't need to have a blog where your blog comes out three times a week. That's kind of a... Uh, kind of tough, it kind of overwhelms people. Once a month's not bad. You know, once a month and produce a very good one. So that uh, month by month people want to see what you have to show them and how to help them. So this is how this works and your blog is indexed by Google as another web page. So all these things keep driving traffic to your website. So that's all important. And it makes a difference on your landing pages that you have good ones so that when people do go here or you do put a link in social media, you bring them to where they need to be and without a lot of, a lot of hassle. Okay? So now I'm going to show uh, an advertising social media event. And we're going to say it's National Hot Dog Week. Okay? Month. Okay? It's National Hot Dog Month. Okay? I saw some blog posts about this. Three best hot dog places that are near Boston Toyota. Okay? So... What can you do? Well, this is what you can do. You can partner with the three hot dog places. You can put it on your blog. You can put it on your social media, Instagram. You can put it on your Facebook. And what you can do is you can send two salesmen and your digital marketer. And you can video with the owner of the hot dog emporium. And they can tell you a little about, a bit about their history. And the salesman can get a hot dog and they can get whatever the specialty is a dog, I'm sure there's a Boston hot dog, um, of what people want, and they can try it out, and they can see how they like the hot dogs. Uh, and then you can go, you have two other places, so you can do the same thing with two other salesmen from a different dealership, if you have multiple dealerships, and you can go here, and you can talk to the owner, and it's National Hot Dog Month, and you want to promote them. So, now, that's pretty good. So what you're asking, what else can I do? Well, this is what you can do. You can rent a hot dog cart, okay? And three Saturdays in a row, you have the three different hot dog vendors. You pay for the hot dogs. You pay for the buns. They come, and, they, and you rent the hot dog cart, and they put their person in there. And you give away hot dogs from Joe's Hot Dog Stand, best hot dog stand in Boston, okay? And you do this. And you film this, and you have people telling you how they like the hot dog. Um, have they been to Joe's before? 
And then you let them give their flyer, their information out. Your digital department or your graphics department builds a poster. It says we're going to give free hot dogs from Joe's Hot Dogs. Okay. So now you're tying in your advertising with them. And you're saying, what's that going to do? Well, it's going to do a lot because they're going to share your video of them at the place and at their place on their Facebook page, okay, and all their other social media and Instagram or, or whatever they have. Because if you do an Instagram there with the salesman with uh, Joe or Joe's hot dog stand, this is going to go a long way. So now the other two come in. So you run the whole month. You get this huge, huge, huge hot dog thing. Maybe you get uh, Oscar Mayer Wienermobile to show up. I don't know. You, you know, think about all the things you could do with this. Now, you can't do something like this every month. You know, you have to pick and choose. You got to say, you know, four times a year, five times a year, we're going to do a big promotion. What did it really cost you to give away the hot dogs? I mean, really, really. Advertising costs tens of thousands of dollars. Tens of thousands of dollars. You can do your back up your advertising when you print. You can back up your advertising here. But look at the goodwill and, and what you're doing for the community. Not only did you help yourself, but you helped Joe and the other two places to market themselves and that you're proud of your community that this is what's going on, that you're trying to help small business. Think how much business you can get out of this. And it's not just about what you get out. It's what you give back. You're giving back to the community. You have the means to do something and, and do something like this, okay? The other thing about social media that you can do is every year people are like collect food for the food bank, okay? Now, I think this is a good idea, but a lot of people just use it and they don't do anything. Where's the owners of the company writing a check to the food bank, okay? Where's the owners of the company going here and saying, we challenge every other dealership in the Boston area that we're going to give $500 to each of the five food banks in the Boston area and we challenge all the other dealership chains to do the same thing. Not only collect food because the money is more important to the food bank because they can buy so much more food. So, But you need to show that you are doing something, not just collecting off somebody else to say look what we did you know well I you know I encourage you I believe in that you know look what you did but you need to do something to show that you care and that you the owners are doing something okay rather than it's just another promo that nobody really cares about you know and they only care once a year it's something to do it the other part is you can use any other charity that you do charity and encourage other people work with other dealerships go there take take your owner one of your owners and go in there and shoot the video where the owner of the other dealership came in and we're proud that we donated the five hundred dollars to each of the five food banks ourselves we accepted your challenge we think it's a great idea what does this do now that video is on both of you all it does is show that you're not afraid of everybody else that you're just one of the people and we, we market a product and we're not afraid of any other vendor or they're on the other side. We all want the business, but not at the expense of, of everybody else. So this is it. Social media can do a lot for you. Just really think about what, how you can use it and how you can do something to really better the world. And you can better yourself. You can better yourself how you do business. You can work with other people. You can work with other businesses, and you can really do something special that really sets you apart and shows the real you in the company. Okay, stay tuned for the last one. We're going to have uh, the wrap-up here, and uh, I think you're going to like it. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. We'll see how that works out, and I hope I've changed how you think about your business and how you do business.